Welcome to Monster Max testing stage three. We have some new missiles on here. The thing is about the same as last time, except for the fact that it's all different. Today we're gonna to be testing out some jet propulsion with our new Rockwell Turbo and Cabulator. This is a Viper 11 fighter jet engine that we purchased on eBay. We're gonna be looking at possibly integrating it as a third power source. You can't do that. We have a rocket scientist. You hired a rocket scientist? We're gonna see if our jet engine has enough thrust to push Monster Max. So we're gonna fire this up now. Let's see. Uh, just, just hold him down with your hands or something. First, we need to turn the cock on. I don't need these. Dude, where's the equation to the successful launch? I, I, I thought you said this guy knew what he was doing. Can you help me look for it? Let me just clean that up. Hey, boss. Uh, Cody, that's not how you clean it up. Grab the fire extinguisher. What the hell? Dude, where's all the fire extinguishers? You told us to turn them on the flamethrowers. I did. It's 94 in here. RIC doesn't really keep up well. I've been trying to get more units installed, but it's not working. We have a new console in here. Shout out to our fabricator, William, for that. Ooh, uh, that really was actually nice me. I built all uh, of that. Yeah, William. No, this is Tyler. Oh. I've been here like a year, dude. Really? Yeah. I haven't even seen anybody. What these do is basically... And then that's all there really is to it. Our goal today is just to drive this until it breaks. Because we want to find out what the next weak link is. It's working on getting some new missile fuel tanks rigged up. Everybody was complaining about how bulkier our last ones were. So we're making fully functional AIM-9 Sidewinder heat tracking. Each one is capable of holding uh, about 6,000 pounds of explosive materials. That's enough to take out any uh, large building or... Like what? The whole town. I want to test the hunting capabilities of Monster Max. We haven't done that yet. Completely in the mud. I didn't see that. Ooh, look at the trench you dug. go any farther i need to place a wheel order we're gonna go to customoffsets.com custom offsets is the largest leading supplier of truck wheels and tires you can go to their gallery and stroll through every single combination of wheels and tires and see if they fit your vehicle so i just placed an order that should be here soon in the meantime let's talk about today's deals but is there something behind me i keep hearing something like a sound approaching no no there's nothing okay I'm, just, I'm gonna look don't look don't look though okay you're sure i'm good you're good I, you're good, okay. good. Yeah. um it's distracting. We're, we're still uh, rolling. We're okay. still rolling. They, all oh. <laughs> they also front door delivery. Why did they just total their van? Wind chime got all the way. All right, our new wheels and tires are here. Let's go check it out, guys. I think the drivers are gone already. Oh, nice. Some nice wheels. So we just got our fresh new shipment in. Wow, what fast, lovely service. Go to customoffsets.com to get wheels and tires delivered straight through your front door. The brakes are so insanely good on this. Every time I lock the brakes out, we slide like three times.
like real. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, it's not even that hot. It's normal tent. These tiny shipping containers are in our way. They're only 40 feet long, like nine feet tall. I'm just gonna go over them. I do feel like it could go all the way, but I'm just, I don't want it to go all the, all the way. Yeah, you must have peed. Oh, it's crazy. What? That means no, no step. step. Why does it smell like f***ing pee? Look you up. peed in the truck, dude. No, I didn't. No, it smells like Brady piss. How do you, do you know what Brady's piss, piss smells like? like? How does he know what my piss smells like? No, you all got drug tested. You're losing your job. And it wasn't heroin. Something worse. What? What? Worse? Ah! It's okay, uh, we'll get somebody to fix that. Tyler's the one that has to fix that. Dang. Look at the teeth on the grill. I like really broke something there. You break it every single time you drive it. Listen, I have a guy in Nigeria. That's right? a scam, Cody, don't. English. He says no English. We had been hearing this really loud clunking every time we would try to do something with high torque. We pulled this cover off because we thought that the chains might be loose after driving it for so long. That one's a little bit loose. That's oh, a lot. that's oh, horrible. horrible. And then you have this. The back one is for the rear engine and this one's for the front engine. What we're gonna do is put sand in there and put the cover back on. What? So I'm gonna dump this bucket of nails in here now and hopefully that tightens it. Why would that tighten it? Oh, dang! This thing is dialed. One thing that I've always really wanted to do is just drive right through a woods without even looking both ways or anything. Whoa. We're in the treetops. <laughs> One of us body I bet we just got a branch wedge up in the fuel line or something. This is a giant boulder, but for reference, I'm eight feet tall. You're not. What? Guys, I'm gonna set the cruise control at 70 and I'm just gonna go. We have these new cameras, which is nice. It took quite a few um, misplacing. You hit a couple. I hit people. Yeah. Why does it actually not feel like one bit stable? It feels like we're gonna flip. Yeah, it does. Wow. Whoa! Wow! This that acts is like five feet off the that ground flexes. on the side. Look at this. Yeah. At that. that is nuts. <laughs> So now we have my campfire. We're gonna light on fire, just park the truck on top of it and see if it's fireproof. Can we get something to eat? Shut up! We're gonna blow something. <laughs> Go to the other side, maybe? Yeah. Coming out over here. Get out there, man. 
No, get off, there's a dead. No, no. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah. oh my god. When the back end pops down, it's gonna It's going suck. to send us we, into the freaking roll suck. cage, yeah. Whoa. It's like just nothing. crawling. Like nothing. What? Any throttle, 1400 RPM. You can slow down. Oh my gosh! I told you. Oh my gosh. I slammed on the brakes. I just you hit the idiot. Brakes. You're like, better slow down. I was like, fine. Boom! It's not that hard. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Cody, holy shit. Let me back up. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. I don't think Cody understands how money works. I was actually being a little dramatic at the first point. Nothing was actually that broken, but now it is. Here, let me pull forward. <laughs> no, no, just leave. Get out no. of the truck. Cody has the maturity of a 12 year old. He thinks the truck just fixes itself. Why are you all freaking out? What's the worst that could be? We have a, there's a fuel leak. Who did this? Someone didn't tighten something. I Don't. told you the limit straps were broke. I told you actually not to drive it. This is not my fault. I was driving. I'm coming up on this like, it was a little bump. And Brady's like, dude, slow down a little bit. So I locked up the brakes. Well, that's not slowing down a little bit. On a it was an accident. Then you guys said back up. We did not say that. You just did. That. And the whole everything <laughs> broke. Duh, 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 duh. Just look at it running out of there. We'll get someone to fix this. I was fixing it, and now I can't. On a way more broken. At least, like, this is, all this is good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just turn a blind eye to this, literally, because uh, we have, uh, I have LASIK. Uh, and maybe it'll just, just... Stop! What is, what what is that? That's <laughs> a propane tank. Why do you have a propane tank? All right, I'm just gonna gently lift the back of the truck up all the way over. What? Gently left it. Just straight up. No this, no that gently. Hey. <laughs> oh. Ah. That looks safe. Let's get up under that. I don't know. I don't want to do that. I just dragged the rear axle. Yeah. We have these chains here that are holding the entire truck together now. Now there's only one thing left to do, to safely get it back to the shop so we can fix it safely. Cody, you gotta stop driving this thing. You're doing more damage every time you get in it. Cody hired me to put brakes on the truck and since then I've rebuilt the whole thing like 10 times. It broke the hook on oh the chain. God, I've never seen that. This is not my fault, see? You built that chain. We have a problem. I'm gonna back up. No. And then we're gonna drive the rest we of the way. We gotta lift it first. We're gonna drive the rest you of the way down. This is... No, Tyler, please Just help. Whatever. Tyler, Just no, it. stay, please. All right, well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Stay tuned for next time where we look at the effects of Earth's next element, fire. Untorch that!